Hi, Barry Foster here, and welcome back to The Scottish Job. This is episode number 37 with uh, Glenn Roths. And today we've got a Scottish Cup second round match, a home game against uh, Fraserburgh. But before we get to that uh, cup match, uh, this is what's been happening since our last video. We've played uh, another league game. We went away to Gretna 2008 and we drew 2-2. That was a pretty hard fought match. I was extremely happy with the point because Gretna, I thought, were a pretty decent side and Craig Stewart and Luke Motruck both scored goals for us there. We then had a, a South Challenge Cup second round match away to Anan Athletic and we got a bit of revenge on them. We beat them two goals to one in extra time with Charlie Edwards and Gary McPhee both scoring the goals. We then had a friendly uh, against uh, South Shields and we beat them two goals to one. I was quite happy with that because South Shields uh, are a professional side from the um, Vanarama Northern League in, uh, in, the U oh, in, in, in England. And uh, I thought we did uh, very well to beat them um, by two goals to one with Marsh Hughes and young Rio McAvoy scoring the goals. In fact, all goals in that game came quite early in the first half. But um, having a quick look at the uh, the league table, Caesars, um, after 10 matches, we're sitting in third position on 19 points. I'm pretty happy with that. Two points behind leaders Cali Braves, a point behind East Stirlingshire with Berwick Rangers, also on 19 with a game in hand, Spartans and Broom Hill both sitting on 18 points. But I think uh, I think Glenn Roths have been doing well, very well so far in this league after 10 matches with five wins, four draws and only one defeat. But today we've got uh, quite an important Scottish Cup second round match. The board would like me to get the team to the third round. And Fraserburgh, they're the League Two side, but they are only a semi-professional outfit like uh, like ourselves. So I sort of like fancy our chances here against Fraserburgh. And when you look at um, how they're doing in League Two, they're finding it a little bit tough after nine matches. They're coming last on goal difference. So I do uh, fancy the uh, our chances against uh, Fraserburgh today. So without further chit chat, let's go and play this second round Scottish Cup match. Okay, and uh, for today's match, we've got Eastham in goal, Lawton, Watson, Hammond and Lumsden across our back line, Edwards, King, Marshews and Lovett in midfield, and Higgs and Curry will lead the attacking line and we'll have on the bench Craig Richardson, Paver, Kai Bell, Odeep, Stewart, Motruck and Jordan Allen. So let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, I think uh, no pressure on the boys today. Just tell them to go out there and have some fun. I was tempted to go with the uh, the assistant's uh, recommendation, but um, we'll see how we go with uh, with the one I've uh, called out. Anyway, it's uh, Fraserburgh who gets us underway, playing in black and white uh, strip, a little bit uh, similar to um, quite a few teams in Scotland who seem to like that uh, that strip. But they've got the uh, opening possession, but that's uh, come to naught. Eastham and uh, Craig Richardson, they've been fighting out uh, for the uh, the place between the sticks. Both have been doing quite well, I must admit, in matches. Um, maybe Richardson, just a, a, shad, a, shad, a shade better than Eastham. But um, today I've put Eastham in, uh, in goal, give him another opportunity. Anyway, an early corner... Oh, I think that, oh, well, I think it <laughs> hit the post twice, I think, there. And then um, gets cleared out for a possible corner. You've got to hit the post in um, Football Manager 22. Anyway, quite a deep corner. Not a very good one, I must admit. That was very loopy. Anyway, Edwards. Now, young Lawton, but that's the end of our highlight. And indeed, we did hit the uh, the woodwork once, according to the match stats. I think that's uh, slightly overdone in the game, but nothing we can do about it. Anyway, another corner. Can Marsh Hughes do better this time? No, he doesn't. <laughs> it's a carbon copy. A little bit too deep. Not very well directed. Anyway, King plays it back to uh, Lawton. He looks for Lumsden. What the hell is Lumsden, the right fullback, doing over there? Anyway, this is Higgs to Edwards. 
Edwards back to Marshews. Oh, nice move. I think he's going to be offside. Well, he's hit the post again, but uh, no offside. Okay, fair enough. I thought he was a, a, a touch offside. Anyway, Campbell now for Fraserburgh. Now, this is Kirk playing it all the way back to Clark, and he pumps it forward, but end of our highlight. I would like to uh, get to uh, the third round of uh, this competition because uh, with a bit of luck, we might end up playing a very good side from the Premiership. And there could be some decent uh, TV money or gate revenues to share. And boy, oh boy, Glen Roths need some of that because their, uh, their debt is, I think, somewhere around about £20,000. Oh, sorry, £20,000, more like £320,000 and above. Anyway, interesting ball for Edwards. First time cross. Curry got his head to it, but uh, Muir made a fairly decent, uh, decent save. This is fired down the park. And I think there's an offside. Indeed, there is. There's an offside there. So the opening may be quarter of an hour. Probably um, Glenn Roth's looking the more dangerous and Higgs with another corner. Well, that's been well headed away by Clark. Now love it. Plays it to Higgs. Cuts it back to King. He can have a crack. No, he doesn't. Now love it. Marsh Hughes. He wants to um, have a shot. It's Marsh Hughes. Oh, beautiful. Does he have a shot? That was a beautiful left foot shot, which uh, clearly beat uh, the keeper. And that was a great goal. Let's have a look at that a uh, second time. King and Lovett. Now Marsh Hughes, and he plays it back to King. Marsh Hughes just turns. Beautiful left foot strike. And the keeper really had no no chance there trying to save that uh, that ball. So I think uh, one nil to Glen Roth. That's a, a pretty um, pretty fair result. I think they've done most of the attacking in the opening quarter of an hour. So maybe if we can go on from here, we can um, get to the third round. And this is Curry being almost put through, but it was cut out in the end. Now Muir. We'll probably pump it straight down the park, and he does, but only to Marsh Hughes, now Curry. He's had a, well, he hasn't had a bad season. He, he's scored, uh, I think, three goals in the league. Anyway, this is Curry again. Tried his luck, but is a little bit wide of the target. Some of the games, Curry's looked a little bit uh, flat at times, but um, I'm still backing him because he was a great goal-scoring machine last season along with Charlie Higgs, and it's good to see Higgs back from his injury. Now we do have Jordan Allen sitting on the bench today, and of course the youngster Rio McAvoy, who uh, has come into the, uh, into the team. He's shown that he can also put the ball in the back of the net. But this is Campbell playing it all the way back to his keeper. Now Muir pumping it very long, too long, and this is going to be for Easton. And he rolls it out to Watson. Watson and Hammond uh, in centre of defence. I'm sort of like settled on those two being our starting central defenders. Strachan is still a pretty good central defender, but he's um, around about 33, not very quick anymore. Anyway, this is Higgs looking for Lovett. Not a bad look glancing header, but Muir got his arms to that pretty pretty easily. And we, we've also got uh, Kai Bell, uh, another young central defender that we can call upon as well. But I think um, Ben Hammond and Lennon Watson probably staked the, uh, the two central def defending uh, positions in the team for themselves. And this is Watson as we speak to King. Now King, good run through midfield. Now Marsh Hughes to Curry. 
And this is Marshrews. He pulls Curry through. I think he's just on side. Oh, and his shot blocked. <laughs> okay, well, another corner. Last year, he would have uh, slotted that into the back of the net, but uh, not this uh, this season. Anyway, another deep corner. I think the keeper might have punched that away. And this is Edwards, though. He cuts it back to King. Now to Watson. This is King again. Now Watson. Now to Marsh Hughes. Oh, he plays it through a little bit too much on that. And that'll go out for a goal kick. But as you can see from the match stats, 11 shots to 2. Nearly 70% possession for Glen Roth. So they, they really are dominating Fraserburgh in the opening 45 minutes. But they've only got one goal to the good at the moment. They probably deserved, I think, uh, a little bit more than one. They've hit the woodwork twice in the opening half. So it's uh, that's a little bit frustrating. But we do get used to that in, uh, in uh, Football Manager 22. And I apologise for the bird calls in the backyard. I can't do anything about that. They tend to be a little bit noisy where I live. Anyway, this is Hammond playing a long ball back to Easton, who really hasn't had much to do in the opening half. But he might now. This is Barbour. He'll have a crack maybe. No, he lays it back to Kirk. And this is Inglis to Campbell to Barbour. Oh, he has scored. He has equalised. Well, out of the blue, they've equalised. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. So close to um, half time. But it was a well placed shot. I didn't think he hit it hard enough, but he placed it very well. And uh, he beat the diving arms of Easton. So 1 1 now. I don't think we'll have a look at this a third time. Let's get on with the game. Two minutes of added time before half time. I think this is going to be the half time scoreline of 1 1. And it is indeed before 426 fans. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good turnout at uh, at Beirut Stadium with uh, only 16 coming from Fraserburgh. So a lot of uh, the locals have come out to support Glen Ross today. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, it's half time. We uh, we point the old finger, and I think um, I think we've been the better team here. I really do. I think we're a bit unlucky to uh, be all square at half time. Hit the woodwork twice. Had most of the uh, attacking highlights in the opening half. But anyway, it's 1-1. Uh, it, it's one -one. That's what it is. And this is Edwards with another good run down the left. Can he get a cross in? He does. Looking for Curry. Oh, he gets his head to it. But I think it's punched away or headed away. This is King. Edwards tries a cross. I think that's been deflected. And that's the end of our highlight. But um, another decent uh, header by Curry. But uh, once again, he didn't find the back of the net. And it seems to be a bit of a wet afternoon here at the Beirut Stadium. This is Lumsden. Good tackle. Now this is Curry to Higgs. Higgs, bit of a wayward pass. Now King gets it back, a little bit lucky. Lawton just pumps it down the left, but that's uh, for a Fraserburgh player to uh, get. And now this is Campbell looking for Barbour. Good header by Hammond. Now Marsh Hughes to Higgs to Curry. Curry, was he going to look for? He does for Lovett. Lumsden. Now love it. Love it, of course, is uh, filling in for McLeod K, who's still out injured. But this is a good run. He's going all oh, well. He, oh, he hit the side netting. I thought the keeper might have um, got a fingertip to that, but it was just side netting. Yeah, McLeod K is going to be out for another two to three weeks. But uh, love it is more than capable of. Uh, playing in that uh, position. Anyway, this is Woods now for Fraserburgh to Hewitt. Fraserburgh look a little bit more um, business-like, I think, in this uh, second half. Now Edwards to Lawton. Plays it long to Higgs. Now Marsh Hughes. 
a curry. Good pastor Higgs. He can go for a run himself and he does. Can he cross? And he does. This is Marshu's no. King. He can have a crack. Oh, does he have a crack from well outside the penalty box? In fact, well outside the D. And he has just rifled that uh, ball into the back of the net. I didn't think uh, Adam King had that in his locker, but he certainly does. He gets the ball from a header and he just cracks it past the diving arms of the Fraserburgh keeper. So two goals to one now to Glenn Roths. I think they deserve uh, to take the lead. They've certainly been the side to look uh, more dangerous in this match. And we'll just have to keep our eyes on... Uh, some of the fitness levels for the players. Anyway, Higgs with a corner, but uh, that's a penalty. Okay, handball. Marsh Shoes, I think, is uh, going to take this. He is indeed. Can he make it 3 1? Oh, he does. A very emphatic uh, penalty from Marsh Shoes. So that gives us a bit of breathing space in the 57th minute. I must admit, I don't know why it was handball, because I thought the Fraserburgh players were the only ones near the ball. I don't know why somebody didn't just head it. But anyway, I'm not going to grumble. I think we've, um, we've got what we uh, deserved, a, a third goal. And once again, those match stats are very heavily in the favour of Glenn Roths. But uh, most of the players are playing very, very well. Lawton slightly down at uh, left fullback. But we've got uh, young Paver sitting on the bench who can play left or right. And this is Barbour. Oh, I think uh, last second tackle there. I think he was, uh, he was just uh, seconds from pulling the trigger. Anyway, this is Lovett to Lumsden. Now Marsh Hughes. Cross to Curry, and that's been headed away by Adamson, only, only as far as King. Now, Lawton, nice looking cross. Oh, Curry, just over the bar. Once again, he is denied a goal. That uh, is a bit of a feature this, uh, this season for uh, Rory Curry. Anyway, this is Grant now, who, lucky to keep possession. He plays it to... Cal plays it all the way back to his keeper. I don't know why. Muir now to Adamson. And he just plays it very long, but not a good ball. This is Lumsden with the header to love it. Now Lumsden again. Now Marsh used to curry. What a patient, patient passing here by Glenn Roths. Now Curry to Higgs. Oh, nice ball. Back to Curry. He can have a crack. No, he won't. This is Lovett. Oh, Higgs blocked. Well, Marsh Hughes uh, finally with, uh, with a shot, but it was a bit of a weak one. And I think we'll make a couple of substitutions after this highlight. Charlie Edwards is getting a little bit tired on the left wing. Anyway, this is Edwards. Still got a uh, bit of petrol in the tank. And he gets another decent looking cro cross in. This is Curry, but this time his header well and truly over the bar. Let's um, make a, a substitution now. I think we'll bring on uh, Luke Motruck for Charlie Edwards. And uh, Jordan Allen for maybe... Let's bring on... Um, Jordan Allen for Charlie Higgs. And Jordan Allen will, of course, be the poacher. See how he goes up front. Jordan Allen's a, another new signing who has performed pretty well when we've um, put him in the team. He's scored uh, one or two goals for us. But at the moment, he's sitting behind uh, Higgs and Curry in the, uh, the pecking order. But I think we'll make uh, one more final substitution, maybe after this highlight with Woods throwing it to Allen. Now this is Barbour. 
plays it to Campbell. Oh, well, uh, Campbell should have done better. Good, good save by Easton. But Campbell probably should have done better in that uh, position. But anyway, let's make one final substitution. Harry Lovett is getting a little bit buggered out there on the on the right wing, but I think we'll look at uh, one of our midfielders. I think we'll bring on um, Craig Stewart for Marsh Hughes. Marsh Hughes can have a rest. Scored a very nice uh, penalty. Anyway, this is Lawton to King. Now to Allen. He's got fresh legs. He can go for a bit of a run, and he does. Plays it back, though, to Lawton who has picked up his game in the second half. Not a bad ball to Motruck. Oh, first time, and Curry this time. Curry does find the back of the net. So he has uh, he has uh, not given up trying to uh, score. But Lawton with a very nice ball here to Motruck. First time cross, and this time Curry just side foots it into the side netting. So four goals to one now for... Uh, Glen Roths over Fraserburgh. This is turning into being a very, very good win by the boys at home. And look at those match stats, extremely dominant. I mean, Fraserburgh have come back with uh, possession, but um, they haven't really done a great deal to threaten us. And this is Allen, plays, trying to play it through, I think, for Curry. Now Muir just pumps it straight down the park. Hammond and Watson in the centre of defence have both had very good, uh, very good games. In fact, no one's really let the uh, the side down at all. It's been a very good um, team effort, and I certainly will be looking forward to finding out who we we will play in the uh, the third round of this competition. Keep my fingers fingers crossed. It's one of the big boys. This is Motruck. Gets his cross in. I think he might have a corner. We're into the 85th minute. And this will be Allen with the corner. Near post. But that's been headed away. But uh, Lumsden can maybe lump it back in. End of our highlight. We go straight to another one. Lawton with the throw to King. Now Lawton tried to find King again, but wasn't a good pass. Now Lumsden. Now this is Stewart. To Motruck. Woeful pass by Motruck. Inter intercepted by Davidson. Anyway, this is Woods. He was looking for Barbour, but uh, well cut out. This is Lovett. He can play Allen in here. And oh, Allen was onside as well, but his shot was blocked. This is Lovett. He sends it back towards King, but he won't win that heading contest. Now, Watson. I think he muscled his man off the ball there. I think we'll call out some uh, praise to the boys because they've, uh, they deserve it. Leading four goals to one against a League Two side. As I said before the match, I was feeling rather confident that we could beat Fraserburgh today since uh, Fraserburgh are struggling in uh, League Two. And they've taken their league form, fortunately for us, into this, uh, into this cup match. We've only got uh, maybe seconds left in the game. This is Stewart, and he's lost possession to Grant. Now Adamson just pumping it forward. But that's it. All over. Four goals to one, with uh, Marsh Hughes scoring from the penalty spot, and uh, Adam King and Curry also uh, adding to the scoreline. And, of course, Marsh Hughes opening the scoring in the 16th minute and as you can see from those match stats, uh, most of them uh, heavily favouring the home side, Glen Roths. Let's go and chat to the boys. Well, you've got to be happy with a result like that. Um, let's go and find out uh, who we're going to play in the third round of the Scottish Cup. Well, as you can see, in uh, six days' time in the league, we're uh, at home to the Cumbernauld Colts. That's uh, fourth playing twelfth in the league. But um, we have found out who our opponents will be in the next round of uh, the Scottish Cup. But before we get to them, we did um, win £4,360 for our second round win 
against uh, Fraserburgh. So that was uh, really good uh, good to uh, to to know. And also we set a new gate receipt record with uh, a record uh, gate receipts of six thousand pounds for the match against Fraserburgh. So that was another piece of good news. But we we did find out who we're going to be playing in the Scottish Cup third third round, and it is Partick Thistle, and that's a Championship side, and we. We are very lucky we got the home ground. So uh, that's a match that I'm going to be looking forward to very, very much. OK, it wasn't maybe Celtic or Rangers, but I'm still pretty thrilled to be playing Partick uh, Thistle. And when we look at Partick Thistle in the Scottish Championship, and well, they're, they're having a bit of a tough season. They're um, currently in, in eighth position on 11 points with uh, Wraith and Cove Rangers, only a point off uh, the bottom club, Greenock, Greenock Morton. But um, Partick Thistle will be, a, I think, a fairly, fairly tough match for us. So uh, that's going to be a great third round clash. But looking at the schedule, as you can see, we've got the Cumbernauld Colts uh, next, and then we've got uh, Bowness United and Dalbeaty Star. I think we'll come back for... Um, I think we'll come back for... the Cali Braves, I think. The Cali Braves, which is on the 25th of uh, November in our game. And I think, um, that's right, the third round draw of the uh, the Scottish Cup is not until the 2nd of December. So um, looking ahead, I think we will come back for the Cali Braves match. That'll be a pretty good match since Cali Braves are doing very well in the league. And um, we'll play the Cumbernauld Colts, Bowness, United, Dalbeaty Star, and of course the South Challenge Cup third round match against East Houses Lily will play those games offline. And Kelly Braves will be in the next video. So that's it for today. A fairly good 4-1 uh, victory over Fraserburgh in the Scottish Cup second round. I hope you have enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me.